no problem. Um, you know, just uh, circling back to women and sexual function, you'd mentioned that their SHBG goes up. And both men and women, right? A male will and can always make testosterone. And he can, for example, my dad. My dad's 74. He cringes every time I say it. Maybe he's 73. We got his blood work done. His total testosterone was 800. Yeah. His free testosterone was amazing. And he, again, he's an older gentleman who does all of the offensive pillars that yeah. you talk about for women and testosterone production. Does that always decline? Yeah. So you bring up two important points. The first one is that we were taught in residency in medical school of this concept called male menopause. <laughs> Andropause. Andropause. Doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I know. It, it does doesn't not exist. exist. It doesn't exist because what happens is as men get older, aging alone doesn't drop their testosterone level. It's the acquisition of comorbid conditions that drops their level. So obesity. Fat cells eat up testosterone, convert them to estrogen, called aromatization, right? Uh, HIV, AIDS, hypertension, all these conditions that you can acquire start dropping your T levels. But if you look at healthy, healthy 80-year-old men, they have normal testosterone levels. Right. It's still in the normal range, right? right? So healthy men will maintain their testosterone. But women are a little bit different. So women will typically make 50% of their testosterone from their ovaries, 50% from their adrenals. And as she goes through menopause, it's a precipitous drop in her testosterone and her uh, adrenals are starting to decline every year at 20 years of age. So it is absolutely makes sense that her desire for sex goes down because the number one desire driver for sex in a woman is her testosterone level. And at 55 years old when she's postmenopausal, there's almost no testosterone. So you can't blame her for having low desire. Secondly, she has vaginal atrophy. She has pain. So now she has no desire and she has pain within her course and you want her to have sex all the she's time. She's out. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, right. right. So, so come on. Right? It's not fair. So if you improve the testosterone level, if you use local vaginal estrogen therapy, if you help her, then it makes sense. But to assume that a woman postmenopausal is going to want to have a, have a great libido doesn't make a lot of sense.